Uh, Karen, uh, you're seated third for this tournament. Um, given your recent rise in the rankings, and it's quite an open field here, do you think mm -hmm. it's a, a great chance for you to win uh, the biggest title of your career? Okay, I don't like to look so much forward, you know, definitely you have to, fo to, look, to focus match by match, step by step, so I have to focus first on my first rounds and then we'll see how, it, how I'm going to go, you know, deeper in the tournament. So hopefully, of course, I would like to get, to get a big title like here, you know, but knowing that this tournament is really tough and it's uh, still, you have to beat uh, a lot of players, you know, to win. Sure. I mean, you won your first uh, title in Chengdu last year. Um, did that come perhaps earlier than you expected? And and is you know winning that has that made you you know get that taste for it and, and want it even more? I think when you win your first title, you never expected. You know that you think that it can be earlier or later. So you're just waiting for your chances. You know, and that's what it happened with me. So maybe I didn't expect it to win there. You know, but I was playing really good level of tennis, and and then you know I, I've done it. So. Yeah, sometimes I think the first title you don't expect, yeah. And the emotions that day, you know, it's just something you'll savor for a long time, I'm sure. Sure, yeah, these emotions, they will always stay with me. So the memories that I had with my winning my first title, so definitely I will remember it. Um, a quick one about Milan. <coughs> um, you're second in the race. How much do you think this introduction of this tournament, has that changed the way you've approached the year in any way? Not really. I mean, I'm doing my schedule, not thinking about Milan, let's say, too much. So I think all the players, they do it. So we're focusing in making the right schedule uh, to put a lot of work. And then, OK, Milan is just one of the tournaments that we have raised, you know, separate from, let's say, London. And of course, the best eight players from our age, they will compete there. Okay, cool. Um, you're based for much of the year in, in, in Barcelona. Um, obviously, you know, clay court events there, clay court practices. Do you think that has drawn you to prefer clay as a preferred surface for you? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. But because normally, you know, how the season is going. So you start the year playing on hard, then you change on clay like two months, then you play on grass, then again, let's say like we are now in the middle of the season, you can play a few weeks on hard court or clay and then again hard outdoor and hard indoor. So when I came to Barcelona, we were doing the same as always. So just practicing on the surfaces that I had tournaments in front of me. So I don't think that I started to play more on clay. I think it just fit, fits me well. So and I improved my game a lot on clay. And a quick one about Hamburg as a, as a city. Uh, have you had much chance to spend some time here away from the court and, and do you enjoy it in this city? Not yet, I didn't have enough time. I arrived yesterday in the afternoon, so of course the next days, if I would have time, I would like to go sightseeing and to watch around the city. i never been here for my first time in Hamburg. Okay, well, get, if you get a chance, you know, it's, it's yeah, a sure. point of time. Um, okay, and a lot of people are talking about you as, you know, as one of the game's kind of rising stars. How much extra sort of, as that spotlight, do you feel that? Do you, does that affect you at all, that now people, a lot of people are talking about you? And, I prefer not to think about it and not to listen too much, so I'm not reading a lot of press about me, so I'm trying to focus on my things that I have to do on my game, so with my team, you know, the work that I have to, to, to do in, and what I have to improve, so that's my main goals, you know, for now. I'm trying to be away from, from talking too much about myself. Sure, understood. Um, but you've played some big names this year, and, and all of them, have, I think, uh, played Murray, played Nadal, played Federer, all said really positive things about you. Mm -hmm. When you hear those comments from those kind of legends of the game, if you like, how does that make you feel? No, it feels great, and you can see that the players, they, they are respecting you as a player, That uh, also that I'm improving, and definitely it motivates me to work even harder. Cool. And there's a final one, um, you know, what, what is it that you think you need to work on to, to reach the to reach their level to, you know, to compete with those big guys on a on a daily basis. As I said, uh, still a lot of work in front of me. Um, yeah, I'm now close to top 30, but you are talking about to be top 10 or top 5. So still, there are some stages in front of me to pass first. So top top 25, top 20, and it's I need everything. I need to improve everything. So I don't go. I don't like to go specific in some terms. So I need to improve everything, and hopefully I will be there. It's all part of that journey you're on, it's all part of that process and yeah, sort of taking sure, it one step at a time. Sure, you, you don't know how much time it will take, so I'm trying to improve day by day and we'll see where it's going to bring me. 
sooner or later.